Welcome! This segment will show you how to assemble the main play yard of the nursery center. First, unzip the carry bag for the nursery center play yard and remove the play yard from the bag. Undo the three fasten straps and set the mattress and other parts and contents aside. Unfold the open of the play yard with the legs pointing down to floor. Do not push the center of the floor of the play yard down yet. You must fully erect the top rails and lock them into place before lowering the center. Pull up one rail at a time with one hand on each side of the rail center and pull up sharply on the rail to lock it into position. Here is an important note. Keep the center of the play yard floor raised while locking the rails. If all of the rails don't lock, then release the latch and try again. Once all of the four top rails are locked in place, then push down on the center handle. The center mechanism will automatically lock into place. Now you can place the mattress on the floor of the play yard with the padded side facing up. Next, Insert the three Velcro straps located under the mattress through the slots in the floor of the play yard. Fasten the hook and loop straps so the mattress won't move and pose a hazard to your baby. The play yard comes with two wheels to make it easy to move from room to room. To operate the brakes on the wheels, press downward on the brake levers. This will help keep the play yard stable during setup and is also for the protection of your child. When you are ready to release the brakes, lift upward on the brake lever with your toe or your hand. Welcome! This segment will show you how to fold up or collapse the play yard. First, you need to release the three Velcro straps that are securing the mattress pad to the underside of the floor of the play yard. Release the Velcro and bring the straps back through the slot in the floor of the play yard. Then remove the mattress from the floor and set the mattress aside on the floor, opened up with the padded side facing up. Do not unlock the top rails yet, keep them locked. Next, raise the center floor by rotating the center handle counterclockwise 90 degrees and pulling up on the handle to release the center as high as the top rails. Gather the legs and wheels together toward the center as close as possible so that they nearly touch. Locate the top rail latch release in the center mechanism of each rail and press up on the underside of the mechanism to release the rail lock, squeezing it with two hands. Once the two sides of the rail are released, push down on the sides so the center goes down. Do not force the top rails if they are not released completely. Just lift the center floor higher until you can fold the top rail. Gather the four corners of the play yard and center all together tightly and place it in the center of the mattress with the padded side facing up. Wrap the mattress around the play yard frame with the padded side facing inward and secure the mattress with the three hook and loop straps by feeding them through the loops on the end of the mattress and folding them back onto themselves to secure. Place a folded play yard into the bag, but make sure that the handles are showing out of the cutouts for easy carrying. Welcome! This segment will show you how to assemble the bassinet. Note: Do not use the bassinet feature until the play yard is fully assembled and secured. The bassinet is safe for children up to 4 months old, less than 25 inches and 15 pounds. First, Fully set up the play yard following the steps in segment 3 of the VIG and make sure all of the rails are securely locked into place. The mattress will be used in the bassinet instead of the bottom of the play yard, so if it was already installed and in use, remove the mattress now and set aside. Place the bassinet over and down into the play yard, aligning the plastic support clips at the top of the bassinet sides over the tops of the rails of the play yard walls. Secure the bassinet in place by pushing down on each of the plastic support clips until each has snapped into place over the top rails. Assemble the two mattress support tubes by connecting the open-ended male and female tube ends to each other in the middle. The closed tube ends will be on the ends of the assembled tubes. Then insert the assembled tubes into the loops on each side of the bottom of the bassinet. 
You can also first insert the closed end of the tubes into the slots on the bottom of the bassinet before putting the male and female ends together. Once each end is inserted into a slot, then raise the middle ends of the tube slanted toward each other in the middle, keeping the other ends in the slots. Fit the male and female ends together and straighten out the tubes into place at the bottom of the bassinet floor. Finally, place the mattress into the bassinet with the padded side facing upward. Fasten the tabs on the mattress to secure it in place. To remove the bassinet from the play yard, first move the mattress from the bassinet. Remove the mattress support tubes if you want to fold up the bassinet compactly. Then unsnap the plastic clips secured over the top rail of the play yard and lift up to remove the bassinet. Note, you should not use the bassinet feature of the play yard once your child begins to push up on hands and knees, even before crawling, or has reached the height of 25 inches or weight of 15 pounds or 4 months old, whichever comes first. Welcome! This segment will show you how to assemble the changing table and how to use it with the restraint system. Note, do not use a changing table feature if the play yard is not fully assembled with the parts securely locked in place. First, take the two long curved bars and connect them together, fitting the pin in one end into the slot in the other end. Then insert the assembled and locked long curve bar into the sleeve opening in the changing table fabric. Slide the curved bars around the inside sleeve of the changing table. Next, connect the two short bars to each end of the long curved bar at the ends of the sleeves. Make sure that the knobs are both facing down and in the same direction on each end of the bars once connected. Insert the connector knob prongs into the holes on both corners of play yard and then turn the connector knobs counterclockwise to lock them into place. To use the changing table, you can now flip it over on top of the play yard top rails and then snap the two bottoms of the flap down onto the play yard to secure it in place. When not in use, the changing table can stay down at the side of the play yard. Make sure that you check the changing table is correctly and securely installed before each use. To remove the changing table, unsnap the flap and flip the changing table back to the outside of the play yard. Twist the connector knobs clockwise to unlock them and remove the changing table from the play yard. Welcome! This segment will show you how to assemble and attach the music center to the play yard. Take the music center and place on a flat surface. You will need four AA batteries to operate the music center. Using a small screwdriver, unscrew the four screws from the battery door on the bottom of the music center and pull outward on the battery door. Install four AA batteries. Replace the battery door and reinsert the screws, making sure that each screw is fully inserted into the music center to prevent loose screws in the play yard. The music center is designed to be attached to the play yard corners. It can also be attached on the changing table's side. Fit the groove in the music center over the curved corner of the play yard. To activate the music center, you will press the on-off button. Press the button a second time to turn the music center off. You can use a previous next button to change the song. To listen to sleep music, press the sleep button. Press the play button to play music. Press the nature button to play nature sounds, again pressing the previous or next button to change the sound being played. To use the vibration function which can help your child sleep, press the vibration button. Press the button with a picture of a star to use a nightlight function. There are three brightness settings for the nightlight, which is controlled by the picture of the half-shaded star. The music center has a voice recorder function. Press the picture of the heart that says REC in the middle to record your voice. Press the picture of the heart that says play to play back the recording. Your message can be up to 10 seconds long. You may also use an MP3 player to override the unit's music. Simply use the input jack to attach your MP3 player into the unit. Press the button to select the MP3 input. Volume will be controlled by the MP3 player.